What's going on guys, Michael here. So Apple just released iOS 13 developer beta six. The update came in at just under 600 megabytes on my iPhone XS Max. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what's new with this update. The first change is a new toggle now in control center that lets you access dark mode much faster. So if I go into settings here and go into control center settings, there is a new control now for dark appearance and it has a new icon there to the left. And if I go into control center, since I have it added here into my include section, you can see there that dark mode is now a toggle in the main regular page of control center. So before this was hidden under the brightness slider and it is right there. But now if you have it added to the main page of control center, you of course no longer need to go uh, one step deeper into the brightness menu to access dark mode. So you can add it into control center and it is right there available with just one click. Much easier, I wish Apple had this from the very start. There is a much more prominent haptic feedback now when 3D touching on apps on the home screen. So although you can't feel this over video, you'll just have to take my word for it, that whenever I 3D touch on an icon, it is much more prominent with the haptic feedback that your phone gives you. Also new in beta six with 3D touching on home screen icons is the animation is now a little bit smoother and appears a little bit quicker. So as you see here, when I 3D touch, it appears really quick and it snaps into place. This isn't that much different from beta five, but it does feel a little bit more snappy. There also is a small improvement with context menus. So if I go here into the music application and I wanna do a 3D touch on one of my songs here, you can see it comes up a lot faster. Before, the iPhone would sense the 3D touch, it would give you the haptic feedback, and then this page would slide up. But now, the haptic touch and the context menu now come up at the exact same time. So this is much faster and much more fluid with iOS 13 Beta 6. This is kind of a strange bug on Beta 6, but when you go to select a new wallpaper, there are no options for dynamic wallpapers in Beta 6. As you can see, the preview page is blank, and if I click on it, all of the actual dynamic wallpapers should be there. As soon as you click on it, they do show up, but the previews are completely blank. You can set these as your wallpapers, as you can see there, but you will have to click on each one to guess what the color will be, just because the preview isn't working right now on beta six. So if you guys remember my last video I just uploaded, I showed you how you could turn on dark mode with a really quick accessibility shortcut setting. And that has actually been removed now in beta six, possibly because of the addition of the control center option for dark mode. So I don't know if this will return in a later beta, but if we go into accessibility, scroll down to accessibility shortcut. What was there before in beta five, which was dark appearance is no longer here under accessibility shortcut. So kind of disappointing that I just made a video showing you guys how to turn on dark mode with a simple triple click of the power button that has now been removed in beta six. I hope Apple can bring this back in a later beta. So now a few screenshots that I took for a few things that I noticed were different when I opened up my apps. So this is what I saw when I opened up the Photos app. I haven't seen this for any of the betas before this. So kind of a new welcome screen when you open up Photos. And I also noticed this for the App Store. So what's new on the App Store, app updates and Apple Arcade. So kind of just new splash screens, new welcome screens for different applications. Another very small change here in beta six is the music controls are now perfectly aligned. Before in the previous betas, they were justified towards the bottom. So I was just about to wrap up this video and I noticed that my folders on my home screen looked a little bit different. So I went and checked online and apparently new in beta six is your folders now respond to what wallpaper you have on your phone and what wallpaper is behind the folder instead of simply whether you have dark mode or light mode turned on. So for example, before in the previous betas, your folders would look black or white if your phone was in dark mode or light mode. But now as you can see, they respond more fluidly to the wallpaper that you have set on your home screen. So a very small change, but the attention to detail is very nice. So I also found this on Reddit. A Reddit user is claiming that there are new shortcut actions in developer beta six. Uh, these were actually there in a previous beta, but what it looks like has changed are the icons next to these shortcuts. So you have some actions uh, to turn on your Apple TV, sleep your Apple TV in the shortcuts application. These icons have now changed very slightly. And finally, one small last thing I noticed here, the LTE or 5G text at the top right of your phone is once again small. So I kind of liked what they did with iOS 13 beta five. Hopefully they can make it big as they did in beta five. But right now in beta six, the text at the top right of your phone is small once again. All right, so that is iOS 13 developer beta six. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.